hello and welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl zion it's good to be back again today with yet another video um today i'm just going to jump right into what uh, i'm going to be discussing about today today i'm going to be talking about um uh the main difference between the coronavirus and the uh, the common not common cold the, the flu and but before i jump into this i just want to state here that i am not a doctor i am not a medical professional the information i'm sharing with y'all um today is uh, information that i read from um the cdc website or um um you know or the internet so but i just i feel like you know we should during this period we should know the difference what how you can tell if you're home you're sick you know um you're not too sure the signs the symptoms to look for um what is really going to trigger you to make that call to your doctor or maybe go to the hospital now if you're here for the first time welcome to my channel and please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell that way you get um, notifications each time I upload a video and if you're already part of this channel I want to welcome you back and thanks for stopping by so yeah um, the symptoms the symptoms of 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 the coronavirus versus the symptoms of the flu okay y'all know that the flu and coronavirus they have so many similarities the similarities are just so many similarities even with the even with the common core now um the the uh the the covid 19 uh will have symptoms like you have you, you you're gonna have cough you're gonna have um fever fatigue um cold chills um, you're going to have body aches and sometimes runny nose, sometimes headache, sometimes loss of appetite, sometimes, um, sometimes, um, loss, loss of your sense of smell, but the deal breaker, like I, I went on live and I was talking about this, this, um, a few weeks ago and I had a friend of mine that came online and, and she was watching and she actually used this word, the deal breaker for you to know that you, you may actually have COVID-19 is the shortness of breath. If you're having all these symptoms and then you start having shortness of breath, I think it is that time for you to pick up your phone and call your doctor or maybe head out to the hospital or call the ambulance or whatever yeah but i just pray that it never gets to that stage a lot of people get this COVID 19 and they get healed or they, they they recover from it without them even knowing you know um so it is very 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 easy to ha to have it you're going around even distributing it without you yourself knowing that you have it you know so um now with the with the flu with the flu, you have all these symptoms that I just I just mentioned that you're gonna have on when if you have COVID nineteen, but um, very rarely you have shortness of breath to that extent where you need to go to the hospital. You're gonna you're gonna have of course runny nose sometimes. You're gonna have um, fever. You're gonna have chills. You're gonna have headache. You're gonna have um, um, what else? Um, uh, muscle ache you know and, and and all that but hey like I said the deal breaker here is the shortness of breath um like I said before I went on my live video some few weeks ago and this is exactly what I talked about the difference between the differences between the um, allergies just you know you having just allergies versus the common cold versus the flu and then um, the COVID-19, all the differences I talked about that about that there. Again, if you're watching me and you're thinking, okay, who are you? I just want to let you know I am not a medical doctor. I am not a healthcare professional. Everything that I'm sharing with you on this channel on right here are uh, information from the CDC website or from the internet you know that i just read up on and i just feel like maybe i should share it you know it's not everybody that have the time to 
go on digging you know information about you might just want to you know watch this video or sit somewhere in your living room relax or lying down on your bed relax and hear hear somebody say all these things and then you you know you just take precautions now so we are where we are today we are here uh, where we are today quarantined because of um the covid 19 we're trying to um, minimize the spread of the COVID-19. So how is quarantine treating y'all? How is quarantine treating y'all? Are you guys, um, what have you been doing with yourself during this period of quarantine? Um, I just want to say that th this period of quarantine has made a lot of people to, it, it, it has benefited some people and some people it has been really, really bad. And, and I'm, I'm going to give examples. Like, for instance, um, a couple or a family where the husband goes to work in the morning and the wife goes to work at night or vice versa. And it just so happened that um, now during this period of quarantine and with a lot of people having lost their jobs or places having shut, um, shut down, you are now waking up the first person that you see in the morning is your spouse the last person that you see before you go to bed is your spouse and you are not used to that kind of life in your home now for some families it's been very very easy to step on another person's toes some families i i understand that there's been a lot of um domestic violence and there's been a lot of um you know fightings and, and all that meanwhile for some families, it's been good news, actually. For some families, it's been um, bonding, sharing, you know, um, quality time together, spending quality time together with each other, um, getting to know each other better. Um, I mean, think about all the nice and good things that you, you would have loved to have with your spouse or your significant other. Um, but never had the time and now you have all the time you have all the time that you do all these things with your you know you spend all this time with your with your spouse or your significant order so <clears throat> to some people it's been this beneficial <clears throat> excuse me but for some people mm -mm, it's been it's been it's been terrible like these families that I, I mentioned before the ones that have kids in them in the families, normally during the day, the kids go to school. But during the day, now you have the kids at home running you and driving you crazy. <laughs> oh my God. So um, it, it's, been, it's been hard for those families. And, and, and meanwhile, it has been something that has been very good for, for some other families. Now, let me talk about our healthcare professionals, right? Our healthcare professionals, um, the ones that are on the front line, so to say, they now talking about how beneficial this quarantine has been to some families, these healthcare professionals, they cannot say so. They can't say so. And the reason is because they are out there risking their lives, you know, um, trying to help the people that are sick um, with the COVID-19. And then most importantly, when they come back home, they can't go back to to their loved ones. I read up on a doctor that actually moved his family to another state, you know, to go live with, with the sister just because of fear of contaminating them in the event that he becomes sick. I read about another doctor that um, actually built a little hurt or a little mobile home in front of his home when he comes back from work he doesn't go into his house even to hug his children or to hug his his wife he lives in the 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 uh, mobile home that is outside his home why for fear of contaminating his family so that is the difference that you know this quarantine or this COVID-19 has brought out brought in, in the world. You know, some people, it has benefited some people. Some people is of no use, of no benefit. As they made things, made things to be worse than it used to be in those families. 
um to a healthcare professional once again every time every time i make a video i always remember the healthcare professionals and i always want to say i really thank you guys for putting your lives out there i have healthcare professionals in my family i can only imagine how 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 much it, it, it is it is something that that these people make sacrifices. I tell you the truth. They do make tremendous sacrifice. Leaving your home every day, going to work with the doubt or the fear of knowing that today I might not just be lucky. I might get contaminated by this virus. And that is your fear every morning as you get up or every night as you get up <clears throat> excuse me, and go to work. So, you guys, let's just pray for our healthcare professionals. If you know anybody that's in the healthcare um, field, give them a call, encourage them, tell them it is well, tell them it's going to be okay, pray for them, you know, and, um, and uh, yeah, the world is not going to be ever be the same again. I keep saying this every time I make these videos. I say the world is not going to, we, we just have to learn how to, to, to get used to this new normal, you know, going out wearing masks or bandanas, um, washing our hands all the time, social distancing, keeping six feet up, away from, excuse me, the person that is closest to you and stuff like that, you know, just to minimize the spread of this virus or to to um, minimize you con getting yourself contaminated. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys today about, you know, you know, knowing the difference between this COVID-19 and the flu, you may be at home sick and you're wondering what is going on with me. You have all these symptoms that they're talking about for coronavirus and all that. Um, but like I said, the deal breaker is when you start having a shortness of breath, it is about time you call your doctor or you, you call the ambulance or you take yourself to the hospital. <clears throat> I thank God that, um, in some states, they're beginning to see a decrease in the number of people that are being contaminated. But in some states, ever since they uplifted the lock, the some of these strict lockdown rules, it's been really bad. Instead, it's been. I remember reading the news the other day last week. They said that ever since the the the, up, the up opening up of the country, the state, there were new like two thousand new cases that just came up. You know, a few days after 2,000 new cases, that's been the highest ever since they've been recording the people that, that are contaminated by this virus. So, y'all, we really need to be careful. Now, I don't know, you you may not be looking up to the government. Just take care of yourself because today they may say this, today they may say that. And, and it may be some things that you're not comfortable with. Like, for instance, they open up the beach, people are going to the beach. Are you just going to run off and go to the beach because they open up the beach? What if you go in, you get, you, 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 you go get contaminated with the coronavirus. What are you going to say? I, I keep saying it's better to stay home. If you've stayed home for all this while up to now, you can still continue to stay home until this thing really dies out. By the grace of God, we will all make it. By the grace of God, we, I just pray that this thing will never be our story. You know, and for the ones that have been con con contaminated already or the ones that have lost loved ones, my heartfelt condolences to you guys. I can only imagine. And I pray for you guys that God will give you, you know, the grace to be able to bear your losses. And I pray that you yourself will not find yourself in this situation. I pray I won't find myself. I pray we will not find ourselves. You know, guys, pray. Pray every single day when you get up in the morning. This should be your first, the first thing you do. Pray. Pray as you step out there or you, you start your day. Pray and ask for the blood of Jesus Christ to shield you, to cover you from being contaminated. Whether it's with this coronavirus or it's with something else or whatever it is. Just pray for God to give you good health. All right. So with this, guys, um, I'm going to stop and uh, come to the end of my video here. That was a little thing that I wanted to share with you guys. So then I hope that you enjoy this video. Please, if you do, um, comment down on the comment section, thumbs up and share. And until I see you guys in my next video, thank you. Stay healthy, stay positive, stay strong and pray always. All right. Thank you. And
くない。